12 people, including Aina Moy, Member of Parliament Benjamin Lagarde, today recorded statements to the DCI regarding the torching of the tea plucking machines in Kericho County and destruction of property amounting to 150 million shillings. Now, the summons comes just two weeks after a Katera tea, formerly known as Unilever, suspended its operations in Bomet and Kericho counties until the safety of their workers and property is guaranteed. And as Laura Tino now reports, more leaders, including Kericho Governor Eric Mutai, are set to appear before the DCI on Tuesday. The Directorate of Criminal Investigations has begun questioning people of interest as it seeks to unearth the intrigues that led to the touching of tea plucking machines in May, where a Karata tea is believed to have lost property worth 50 million shillings and 4.5 million kilograms of tea leaves, estimated to cost an additional 120 million shillings. <laughs> Ainamoy legislator Benjamin Langat was among leaders summoned by detectives to record statements that would shed more light on the case. Others who appeared before the DCI in Nakuru on Monday include Chaik MCA Matthew Korir, Kapsoit Ward Representative Paul Chirchir, Londiani MCA Vincent Korir, among others. The leaders calling on the residents of Kericho to remain calm. Earlier on we had also met an agreed as leaders that uh, we need to turn down on the political rhetoric around uh, um, the lands occupied by the multinationals around the tea plucking machines because the moment we we do politics on it is the moment now we start like uh, uh, charging our people unnecessarily. In May this year, a Karata tea, formerly operating as Unilever, suspended its operations in Bomet and Kericho counties, citing a lack of security for their staff and machinery. The mechanization of tea plucking has been a hot issue in Kericho and Bomet counties, pitting residents and the local leadership on one side and tea multinationals on the other. Kericho Governor Eric Motai is among those expected to record a statement with the DCI in Nakuru on Tuesday. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.